everybody, this is your gamer gal Tara, and I am playing Project Zomboid this evening. Uh, if you haven't heard about this game, it's been out since I believe 2013, and it's um, a MMORPG a zombie survival game. It has come a long way since the original development came out, and I personally like it. it if you're looking to get it, Steam does have it on. $15. It might be on sale right now for about, I think, $9. Uh, so if you're interested in playing this game, please go on, go into Steam and take a look at it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it, uh, but let's go ahead and try not to die here in Project Zomboy. So let's see if we can start a new game. So we're going to go ahead and just clean out some of these. Okay, so with the new game, we're going to go ahead and go um, six months into it. We're going to go on a hard, dip uh, yeah, hard difficulty and let's see how that works out. So right now there are four places that you can go to. Um, there are ones that you can add for extensions and whatnot that you can find in Steam. But I'm just going to go ahead go with Riverside. Kentucky. We'll start off here. So here's the character creation. Not so much to go off of yet, but let's find out what our character's name is going to be. So first game, you can get gender, male, female, doesn't matter which one you want. I'm going to go with male. We're going to call him Travis Lee, basically. There we go. The chest here in the stubble actually will help with the colder months. Um, you can either start off with sweater or vest, but depending on what season it is, I'm going to go ahead and go with sweater to be on the safe side. You can customize the color of your clothes if you want, but it doesn't really matter too much if you do. Alright, there we go. So that's the basis of our characters. So, What's new since when I started is occupations. If you don't feel like doing the available trades by yourself, then you can just pick an occupation that will even them out together. There are a few. Fire officer, police officer, park ranger, construction worker, security guard, and carpenter. Uh, but let's see. Me, personally, I just like to do it myself. I start with the negative trades because you have to balance it out. You can't have all positive trades. So I'll go ahead with all thumbs. That just means you transfer stuff slowly. A safe one to have. Um, slow reader is actually a good one to take in as well as a negative trait. It can, if you want to read books to help improve skills, that's where you can go about it. Um, as you go down, the more aggressive the negatives become and the higher points you can use to spend on the positive traits. Um, one of the things I do is you can do slow learner. It decreases XP gain, but it does give you plus six positive to add to one of these. Um, that's one that I would usually do, and I'm going to go ahead and add that. So there's a few on here that will help. Um, clumsy makes more noise, so if you're looking for a sneak in, then I wouldn't recommend this one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a few more here. I'm going to go unlucky. Now I have 22 points to spend on the positive traits. So if you go down, there are some right here you can be strong and more athletic. I'm going to go with thick skin. Less prone to get scratched and bites. Very good one to have. Um, another one that's really good is resilient. So a rate of zombie verification, basically. Cat's eyes, outdoorsman, needs less sleep. That could be helpful if you want to go with that. Iron guts. Um, and then I'm going to go with graceful, which leaves me four left. So go brave. And there we go. There you have it. So if you do your negative traits right, you can have more positive traits. So let's go ahead and start this game.
absolutely love the loading music on this. It's amazing. And there's really no goal to this. Uh, it's just a survival game. You survive until you die. Um, most people, I haven't played this in a while, so there's outdated uh, videos out there. So hopefully this could give you a good start up, see uh, what the newer one looks like, graphics and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of change to it. So let's take a look here. Where do where did we start? Okay. So we started in a small little house here, not not too shabby. Let's see. Let's take a look and see what loot we can find. Since I did start off six months into it, there's not going to be much in the cupboards because it has been looted in a sense. Um, these windows. Uh, be careful of windows because zombies can actually see in them as well as you can see out of them. And doors. Locked doors. Always be cautious. Usually in the first house that you spawn into, um, you don't have to worry about it. This right here, this big hiking bag is a great find off the bat. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to head and clip that to my back. And it basically increases your carrying weight. So I'm just going to move a few things over like the beef jerky. Um, and this key ring, you can, you can get rid of this if you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you want to, it actually locks the house that you're in right now. So if you want to make this your safe house, you can. Um, I don't plan on making it my safe house, so I'm just going to leave it here. Alright. Let's check the last house and see if they're... Oh, that's actually outside. I didn't want to do that yet. <laughs> Alright, so one thing that you can do, you see that a lot of them is curtains. You can go ahead and um, close the curtains, which prevents the zombies from looking inside. So it doesn't seem like there's anything in here, so we're going to go ahead and get moving. So the trees are actually starting to die, which means it's fall. Okay, so that means it's fall, and over here are some zombies. Um, so you want to go ahead and just walk pretty slow. Oh. Let's see if I can get into this house used to be able to turn so I guess they they did update a couple of features in there where I have peripheral vision you used to not have a peripheral vision like this so that's a nice feature that they've added let's take a look at the house oh this is not good I might have walked into a zombie place but we'll take a look we gotta find ourselves a weapon so that window we want to try to avoid that window A school bag that's not bad it's another carrying thing um so what we can go ahead and do is oops i accidentally moved those into there so we're going to kind of clip that to our secondary and i'm going to remove put that back into my bag because that was useful oh crap oh no i'm already here and i can't fight oh my god no 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 oh shoot that was an okay loot thing oh i think i just accidentally drew every zombie in the air around me that was a brilliant thing to do that was a brilliant thing to do <laughs> okay Um, near death right there once again that was actually a good example for the tough skin one Whew, uh, could have been bad really bad hmm. as you can see the growth has um, came up. There's a zombie in there right here, guys. So, without a weapon, that's very horrible thing to do. So I'm just 
going to do a few of these and we'll see how that works. I think I might be okay in here. Oh, crap. They're everywhere. Let's see if I can take her, though. for this is try to knock them down so you can stomp on their head if you don't have a weapon. There we go. So now let's try to stomp on their head and kill her. Get rid of her really quick. You want to try to find weapons as fast as possible because that is very tiresome. Canned tomatoes. Great thing to have. So let's see if we can move it into our duffel bag. What else is ah frying pan? So it's not the best of a weapon, but um it can be pretty good. Let's oh stir fry. Let's go ahead and create some stir fry with the frying pan, shall we? There we go. So that creates a good food that you can eat if you want. Um, I don't know why I grabbed the aluminum. Let's go ahead and just put that back. Eric Tuna is good. Alright. Let's see. Oh crap, that's gonna draw a lot of attention. So I'm gonna close this curtain. So they that's one of the features they've added is those screams. Um and small little things around that creates attention. Um, you just want to be careful about that. Because those screens, screams definitely can... They definitely can draw quite a bit of attention if you're not careful. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and try to not go outside for a few moments. Because I'm pretty sure that all the zombies in the neighborhood are now going to go that way. Uh, the cool thing about this, sometimes the zombies can have loot on them. So always check the body if you kill them. Um, and disease can spread, so if you kill a zombie in your base, uh, you want to move them out of the way. Because you don't want that disease to spread, it could get you sick and you could die. Alright, so we have some bath tiles, hairspray, and tweezers. Um, so if you get shot or broken glass, these are actually pretty good to remove them. So I'm just going to put them in my backpack, just to see, just to make sure that we have it in case. Always good. Um, the water might be shut off because it's six months into it, but let's find out. Okay. Well, it looks like it had some water left, so that's nice. Alright. Still no weapon. Should have used that frying pan, but oh well. Let's go ahead and do this and see. The thing about this game is you really don't have a map. So if you want a map, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to go and, oh crap, the door is broken. You're going to have to have a second screen with a map built onto it in order for that to work. Um, one thing that you can do is when you move, is just hold the control key down and just spin. It keeps a good visual around you because you can't see what's behind you. You can't see if there's any zombies coming or anything like that. So you just want to be careful. I just love listening to the sound effects. It's very pretty in this game. They have definitely come a long way. And we have hit a major road. So, this road can definitely lead us to a town where it has more supplies. But when it comes to town, it increases the zombie count. So you have to be a bit careful with that. Um, always try to stay out of the trees or away from the trees because they can hide in there and jump out to get you. Oh, 
Oh, like almost I nearly died a moment ago, so that was fun. But there are seasons in the game. You have fall, spring, summer, and winter, and there are various um, climate changes as well. Where it can get extremely cold, there can, I believe there also can be some blizzards at times, including rain. But most of the time, to be honest, I've actually never made it that far. Oh, and there's a complete horde. Let's see if I can manage to pull some away. Without getting more than one, because without a weapon, getting more than one is literally a death sentence. Oh my word. If I can get one to follow me. Oh shit, I got three. Oh no, no. Well, bad idea. We got we gotta go. We're we're just gonna go this way. That was a horrible, horrible idea for me to do. And, um, good thing those ones are slow, which means they've been dead for a while. So, that's nice. The slower the zombie is, the, the longer they've been dead. Uh, recent zombies are a lot, recently killed zombies are a lot faster when they come after you. Alright, so we're starting to get to an area that has a nice fenced area. Or maybe this is where we were first off. If that's the church, this is where we were last time. Um, yeah, that's the church. Oh no, a dead end. I do not want to go into the woods. That's a horror. That's even a worse idea than going through a horde of zombies. Oh no, the lag. So there is a gather option. If you find the right bush, you can actually gather stuff from it. Um, but by doing that, it's a it actually makes it. Oh, here we go to see. All right, so my car my guy is getting a bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat um, a fourth of that beef jerky stir fry just to top him off. Because I don't know when we're gonna find more food. And that stir fry actually makes quite a bit of meal. Um, let's see here. So as you can see, you can zoom out pretty far, but I like to play a little bit closer to the game. Um, going too close um, might... Going too close probably will not be a good idea, because if you more for the graphics, it gets a bit pixelated. Sort of like the early Sims. But it's not at that bad. It's actually a lot better than what it was originally. So I like it about here. This is a good distance. You can see um, pretty well in front of you. But as you but you still won't be able to see behind you. Oh, music change. I do not like that. Oh. So there are very well done music in this game. Just not too particular at the time. Oh, shit. Alright. Alright, so this is a trailer home. Or some sort of apartment. Or like a... What is the word? Construction. That is it. One thing you want to try to avoid, if you ever get stuck in a small area, that is not a good idea. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and we'll see how everything is looking. Let's get inside and make sure, make sure we're somewhat safe to go in here. If, if we are, this might be a good place to loot and see if there's any weapons inside. Oh wait, there's nothing, no one in here, so let's see if we can get it open. Being six months into it, we're safe that no alarms will go off. Which was a huge downside. Because... <laughs> when you start off, there's a good chance that an alarm will go 
go off and that would just draw every zombie within a 20 mile radius to your location. So if you were trying to loot it and the alarm went off, well, say goodbye to your loot. That's all I have to say. So I'm going to try to do a good decent length video. The first one is going to be kind of short. As you can see, it takes forever when you don't have a weapon, so let's see if we can get her to trip. There she goes. Now it's our time to just want to kill her. There we go. So as you can see, my guy is got hungry again, so I'm going to go ahead and just eat all of the stir fry, which will give me the frying pan, and I'm going to equip that as my weapon. Okay, so now I have a weapon. And my guy seems like he'll be good for a little bit. Let's see if we can draw some more zombies back this way. Oh, crap. I pulled two. Well, since I have a weapon now, that should be okay. As long as none of them... As long as they don't surround me, I should be fine. Now he's down. Let's see how much easier that was. To deal with him. faster so much easier. but if you look in the corner here my I'm not sh my weapon has a little star that's durability dependent on how much uh, strength and durability your weapon has it will determine how far or how long you can use it um, but most of the time a frying pan is a good start weapon that or a baseball bat uh, you can use a fork and a knife as a start weapon, but I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. <gasps> because it's not the best option. Because being so close to range, and so, um... Oh, crap. Being so close to range, and so non-efficient, uh, I would just avoid them. But if you're desperate and you're in need, of um crap. <gasps> yeah if you're desperate and you're in need of a weapon really badly then go ahead and grab that fork grab that knife um just don't, just don't grab that spoon there we go now they're dead let's see if they had any on there Dirty and bloody, that won't be good for bandages. Yeah, that's a new feature. Those clothes used to not have that little feature where it'll be dirty and bloody. But these pants are actually very good. So you want to go ahead and rip them up and they'll make up bandages. These are dirty rags and we don't want those, so we're going to get rid of those. No, no, no. There we go. I didn't want the vest, I was trying to take the vest. So we'll get rid of the dirty rags. Because that's just going to be too much of a horrible thing to have. I mean, you can wash them. And we might do that later on. But as of right now, it's not such a good idea. So let's see if we can try to sneak past these guys. And hopefully no more zombies show up. Alright. So what the few skills that I like to level up are sneak. Which can come in really handy. Especially for areas like this. Ah, uh, crap. Wait a bit, did he see me? No, he did not see me. Alright, let's zoom out a little bit here. Alright, let's see. And they shift. So, there's that. I might have to take out these guys. Like, all of them. Oh, crap. They, they definitely saw me. They definitely saw me. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, let, let's back it up. Let's back it up move them away from everyone to not draw too much attention. Um, you can also lose zombies by going into around houses and everything. 
that tends to work out pretty decently. But I wouldn't say too much. There we go. So come here, little guy. And oh, shoot. You can swing too early, which is not recommended, but. Alright, the longer you hold the swing, the more powerful the swing is. There we go. And here comes the. Well, does she not see me? Oh, there she goes. She saw me. Let's see if we can get her to come over here. down. Alright. Let's see if we can draw some more away. Well, I'm, but the problem is, they do respawn after some time. So if you don't kill them fast enough, you're probably, your best bet is probably just to run through them and hope for the best. That's what I might have to do. Um, if I can't sneak away from them, I might have to just sprint through because I cannot stay in this area. There's too much. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, it looks like we're doing the sprinting option. I'm gonna draw the entire herd with me, but that's okay. Who needs life? You don't need to live, and we are gonna go south. Well, whatever way this way is. Oh, shit. Okay. As you can see, he got a little bit panicked, but not, not too much. Nothing to be too uh, concerned about. Um, because with the skill that I took, um, he doesn't get panicked too easily. Alright, I'm pretty sure she saw me. Uh, maybe not. Okay. There are zombies all over the damn place. But I guess that's what you get for playing on hard mode. <laughs> uh, this game does also have a feature of multiplayer mode. Which is fairly nice, uh, but if you join a preset server, uh, there are gangs that already went up. Oh, snap. There are gangs that already been set up, and frankly, you just want to be careful with that. I joined um, a multiplayer server one time, and let's just say that... Um, I looted from one of their areas, one of their safe houses, and it didn't turn out very well, to be honest. I am probably gonna die. So let me kill this guy, see, oh shit, he saw me too, so I'm better off just, just booking it. Until I can find a safe house to have as my, our home base. <laughs> way too much zombies out here. Way too much. I am pulling every single one of them. He's about to get winded, and this is not going to be good. I might die my first game. Oh my word, this is going to be horrible. Okay. No, 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 no. I can ah fudge they saw me I don't think I'm even heading into the city to be honest there's just seeing more and more trees more and more zombies and I cannot kill all of them it is just not gonna happen all right let's go this way You can easily get lost in this game. So I would advise just to be a bit cautious of where you go and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure you'll you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just wing it. Just wing it. <laughs> so once I can find a safe house. Oh no, it's raining. He's gonna get wet and possibly sick. Darn it. I need to find a house fairly soon or else it's going to get wet and that's not good because illness is a huge factor in this game now like you can die from a sniffle or two and that is not good at all 
Oh no, he's getting winded. We gotta give him a break. Good thing these zombies aren't really too new to the zombie scene. Alright. Okay, time. Time to book it again. Time to book it again. And he's getting wet. Oh, I think I just fucked myself over. If I die this round, then we can just start all over again. But, but that's the fun of the game, to see how long you survive. Um, I did do six months into it and hard mode. Just to show what that looks like. But I am just getting further and further into the countryside. This is far from what I wanted. Oh my word, this is not not good. This is not good. Oh, I'm about to run into so many zombies. If I do not find a house soon, I am dead. He's wet, he's out of breath. Ugh, it's not a good start. Not a good start. I am so gonna get trapped and dead. I have the entire... I have the freaking entire zombie horde chasing me. I think they're still chasing me from that town back there. Ah, uh, he's terrified. Alright, you gotta get him to take a breath. Just, just, just walk it off, walk it off. Alright, I might be getting out of that zombie horde. At least I hope I am. Get some food. The cool thing is, you can now eat while walking. That used to not be a feature. But he's about to get really, really wet. Really wet. Oh, my word. Well, at least the zombies aren't showing up too much anymore. I probably just killed myself saying that, to be honest. At this moment, I'm looking for any type of shelter, whether or not it be a house, a shed, whatever. I don't care at this moment, he just needs to get out of the rain. Right, let's stop for a little bit, he needs to get his uh, oxygen back. Alright, it's not doing anything and I don't feel safe standing in the middle of the woods. But yet, they haven't um, developed any. They haven't developed any vehicles yet. I heard they're looking at that. adding vehicles to the game, which would be a pretty cool set. And definitely improve travel time greatly. Word. I have officially went the wrong way. That is fun. I think I know what's happening. Either I'm gonna hit a house out here, or I'm gonna hit the end of the road. If I hit the end of the road, I am just gonna stop the, oh, oh, fence. Fence. That indicates house, but, sh oh crap, it's getting dark too. Visibility severely reduced. I should not go out of the road there has to be one somewhere but I chose cat eyes which makes me able to see in the dark better which that helps out a lot all right let's see if I can safely go this way probably gonna get ambushed wish me good luck oh it's a house yes over that and let's risk it I need to get inside uh, this room seems okay close the door there we go alright so I'm gonna go ahead close this curtain oh well what a event full start uh um oh Wow, chocolate. That's not a bad find, actually. Let's see what else this place has for us to be taken. Alright. Alright, so this loot is actually not too bad, not too shabby. 
Uh, another frying pan. I might actually take that. Because you can never have too many frying pans, is my motto. If I can find the frying pan again. Hmm. Here we go. Which one was it in? There it is. Alright, let's move this over to the duffel bag. Alright, so he got his breath back. He's starting to dry off a little bit. And I think I'm going to leave this here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And once again, it's your gamer gal, Taro. Everyone, enjoy their evening and good night.